but because of the coronavirus, everything I wanted to do was closed. So, we saw the Texas blue bonnets, that was nice. That was better than I thought it was going to be. Um, we had a Texas roadhouse in Texas. We did. <laughs> I can confirm that Louisiana chicken kitchen, kitchen chicken, chicken Popeyes, Popeyes, Louisiana, Popeyes, Louisiana <laughs> chicken is better in Louisiana. Texas Roadhouse is exactly the same. Yeah, literally no different. They tasted the exact same apart from we were in smaller portions because of the curbside thing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, infected. <laughs> and we shouldn't laugh at that. allergies just for the record I think. Yes. Anyway we are heading to Mount Pleasant, uh, a KOA. Um, I have no idea what's in Mount Pleasant if there's anything and usually when we go to a place where there's not a lot to do we go to a museum or something touristy. Well we can't do that so I have heard that it's really pretty and we are heading towards the mountains now which is nice. A bit of a different view everything's so flat here so that might be nice, not sure. Otherwise, you're going to see a lot more of us eating uh, and maybe cutting our nails. I, d I don't know what else. <laughs> got a jigsaw. We have got a jigsaw. We can do a time lapse of our jigsaw. How boring would that be? <laughs> I'd love it. <laughs> we don't even need to do a time lapse. We can do it real time. True. That would uh, fill we out just the do live, What we can do is do live feeds of whenever we do some of the jigsaw we have to live feed it. I think that's a good idea if the Top Gear people can do live feeds of them making Legos True. and millions of people watch that why wouldn't people log the Top in? Top Gear people are funny. They're not speaking in it. <laughs> They're drinking and building Legos. I think we should drink and jigsaw. Let's do it. like three seconds which was great i need to stop looking at me and i need to look at the screen don't i i'm, I'm trying to go this way because i got a spot and i don't want to <laughs> um and my hair is going crazy things today but that's because of this lovely rain anyway so i just came out of titus country veterinary clinic um and they didn't even charge us which was lovely and she sent us a video of how they take the staples out of the stomach which hopefully some of you will find interesting um but yeah roxy's all happy we're done and uh oh i thought she was coming back no she's not um yes so all done for today so yesterday in virginia they announced that they were having a mandatory lockdown until june 10th we're still in texas um there is no lockdown here yet but just due to everything and how people feel about people going out We've decided not to leave the campsite and just local walks, um, just staying inside. And everyone says the more people that do it quickly, then, you know, we can get this over and done with quicker. Um, however, it's not making for very interesting footage for you guys because we're just sat in our trailer. So for those of you that aren't into camping or RVs or trailers or any of that which you know is a majority of our viewers um i thought i'd do a little explanation about the difference between the trailers i don't actually know specifics so Lawrence might have to put some text here or hopefully come out and do this himself <laughs> so this is called a fifth wheel 
And the reason it's called a fifth wheel is because of this hitch at the front here plugs directly into a bed of a truck rather than being towed like with a normal ball hitch um, and that's about it um, so yeah that's why these ones are called fifth wheels they come in all different shapes and sizes but they you can generally tell what they are because of that hitch at the front these ones are called class A there's actually a class A, B and C. That's what I don't know the difference of. I'm hoping Lawrence can put some text over this to overlay what the difference is. But these ones are the ones that are a bit more like a coach. Really big, really expensive. Here's a great example of a fifth wheel that is hitched up. As you can see, some of the fifth wheels look proper cool. Raptor. These two here are travel trailers and that is because the hitch is right there on the front that connects to the back of the car as opposed to going straight to the dog bed. Dog bed? Truck bed. What knob? This is a golf cart. Many, many travellers have them. Here's another fine specimen of a class A. You can also tow cars behind. Here's another beautiful example of a travel trailer. Oh, that's ours. 